Hardly anybody knew a thing about the Cortez Bank. It was not until January of 2001 that Mike Parsons and Brad Gerlach of Southern California and Peter Mel and Ken Skin Dog Collins of Santa Cruz went out on an incredibly secret and dangerous expedition and summited what became the biggest wave on Earth. On perfect bluebird conditions, just as an astonishing mission that reveal the place of the world. In 2008, I wrote about an even deadlier world record summit out there and became just obsessed with the bank. I thought this was gonna be more of a book about an incredible natural phenomenon and a biography of a remarkable group of big wave surfers. And while I hope that it is that, it also became sort of my own combination of a Sherlock Holmes mystery and an adventure. I had no idea that I would find so much history out there. Not only did I have the opportunity to discover these harrowing stories from fishermen, divers, treasure hunters, and nation builders, I was able to go out there and experience what I think is one of the seven natural wonders of the world firsthand. It was terrifying. They may seem crazy, but these guys pursue this freezing open ocean wave with no less dedication than any of the top athletes in the world pursue what they're doing. I think you could compare their addiction and obsession to that of the crew of the Pequod and Moby Dick. You know, this is their white whale. And whether they're divers or surfers or journalists like me, the Cortez Bank just has such a pull. It lures you out every time there's a swell and every time it almost kills you, but you want to go back for more.